Okay, we're at the Oklahoma Allergy and Asthma Clinic. This is the extract lab, and what we do is we prepare um, allergy treatment for people that have allergies. Uh, we have about 5,000 patients uh, here at the OAAC that have allergies that are on treatment, and so we pretty much supply them uh, with allergy shots. So I have a group of um, about 10 technicians who pretty much work full-time compounding um, allergy shots to you know keep these patients going on their treatment because they get sets on a six week uh, on a six week basis continuous basis. Uh, trees and molds and ragweeds and grasses and just everything in nature that everybody's allergic to and we do some pets like guinea pigs and hogs and stuff like that those are the special ones but <clears throat> I come in I have a tray that has all these bottles on it and whatever the doctor sends down that these people are allergic to, I draw out of each one of those bottles and put it in another bottle. And then I take that and lower it to whatever dosage they're on. You start out at a real low dosage and you build it up and it builds up the antibodies in your system so that pretty soon you're not allergic to it anymore. Uh, a lot of people think that this is a medicine that's going to cure them and they don't realize that it is actually the things that they're allergic to that your body's building up a tolerance against. I think that's, that's probably something people don't understand is how it works. Short ragweed um, is common. Um, some of the dust mites uh, we, we commonly use. Mountain cedar is a big oak tree. Um, those are probably the most common ones that, that I could think of. You probably need about all the big ones that I'm allergic to. Yeah, those are the ones that really get people.